Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your 2016 WWE SmackDown Live Draft Edition Live Reactions. Daniel Bryan is leading the crowd in a yes chant while Stephanie is trying to speak and failing miserably. And now Mick Foley speaking got the crowd to finally calm down. Ah, uh, yeah, now we're getting down to business, it looks like. We know Raw has the first draft pick. We also know that Raw will get three draft picks for every two SmackDown gets. My question, though, is if it's going to be three, then two, then three, then two, or if it's going to be then, like, they're going to flip-flop, but to keep things even, Raw will get two picks occasionally to keep it three and two. I'm not sure. We'll find out. And we're going to get right into it. First pick. Here we go. First pick. Oh, my God. Okay, so Stephanie kind of cut Mick off there at the pass. Seth, Seth Rollins, Rollins is on Raw. First Raw draft pick. I told you this last night, brother. Yeah, you said Seth for Raw, and I think you said Dean for SmackDown is the first pick. Yep, those are going to be the first two picks. And then if I had to guess, I would say Cena to Raw, or maybe not Cena, maybe like Brock, but then AJ to SmackDown. Yeah. Yeah, Meg. Oh, Shane called him CrossFit Jesus. <laughs> That's great. Now it's SmackDown's turn. Dean Ambrose, baby. Yep. And is yep. 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 Dean Ambrose! All right, awesome. All right, Ambrose is going to be exclusive to SmackDown. Wow, all right. We kind of knew that. I think Roman is going to end up on Raw. It just depends on when. when right. Which means Seth and Roman are on the same show, and Dean's the only member of the Shield that's going to be on SmackDown. Yeah, Seth versus Roman is happening at SummerSlam for yeah. the title. That is such bullshit. Oh, is Steph going to keep this thing going where she keeps interrupting Mick as they are about to announce the pick? I'm telling you, he may be losing his job tonight. Oh, women's division. They're picking a woman already. Sasha Banks. No, Charlotte. They're going to yes. pick Charlotte. All right, so Charlotte to Raw. Not a bad choice. I am surprised that John Cena has not been picked yet. Yeah, well, keep in mind, I think Raw, to be fair to Charlotte, I mean, not to denigrate her, I mean, but Raw does get, I think, three consecutive picks now, so... Well, just because Shane likes to be reactive, I, I think he might end up picking Sasha here if it's not AJ, which AJ is my first pick, but, uh, you know, just to kind of be reactive to what Steph just did, he might go with Sasha. Right. Although they might try and keep Sasha on the same brand as Charlotte so they can have their match at SummerSlam. Right. Well, Sasha did want to go to AJ! SmackDown. AJ Styles. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. All right. I can dig that. I can dig that. I think we I... kind of knew that AJ would be – I thought he would be first, but based on last night, I kind of had to change that prediction to, you know, Dean because it kind of makes sense that Seth and Dean would be representatives for their respective brands. I definitely see a Dean Ambrose, AJ Styles feud in the future. I have heard rumored Randy Orton and AJ Styles as a feud. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Raw. Who's Raw picking? Who is Raw picking? John Cena probably, right? Oh, I towards the future. NXT. Finn Balor. I can hear Finn chants. I don't know. Are they going to fake him out? Finn Balor. Oh, my God. Wow, the fifth overall pick. That's pretty huge. He got picked before Cena. I know. Well, dude, they were even talking about on commentary either this past Raw, the, well, that was last night. It had to be last week then that Cena may not be a top pick like straight away because he is becoming more of a part-time schedule oh. with all of his outside projects. What am I? I'm hearing Cena's theme song. What's he doing? Oh, wait a minute here. Okay. Maybe he's a... He's oh, he's got a match. Okay. Yeah. 
you know, I hope they do like match and then like maybe five draft picks and then match and then five other draft picks. Like yeah, make the draft. That man, I can dig that. I, I'm how many actually keeping track of the draft picks as we go? Yeah, how many draft picks do we have just now? Five. Yeah, that's a perfect number. You should do five draft picks in a match. Five draft picks in a match. I think that's the perfect way to keep the momentum up. Yeah. Because I hated it, like, in previous years when it's like, oh, you know, you do a match and winner gets only, like, one lottery pick. Or if it was big matches, maybe you'd get two picks. Fuck that. Just have them keep going, picking names out, and you get matches in between. I think that's a perfect format. Yeah, like, each respective GM has their own, like, cheat sheet where they have, they're prepared. Right, exactly. Have their list of who they want and in what order they want them in. Yeah, I'm most curious about where, of course, Kevin Owens is going to go, where Rusev's going to go, and Baron Corbin's going to go. Wow, commentary is stacked tonight. It's basically SmackDown commentary plus Michael Cole. Oh, wow! Is Cena taking on one on one with AJ? No, it had to be another member of the club, right? They're not going to do Cena AJ right now. Oh, you know what? It looks like Carl Anderson's ready for a match. He might be the, the fodder. Oh, please don't let him, like, get brutalized like he did the last time these two were in the ring this together. This might be his redemption story where he gets to actually take Cena to the limit and put on an amazing match even to, even though he's going to lose. Oh, no, it's Lou Gallows he's facing. Oh, that's okay. interesting. Okay. I, I hate that Carl Anderson is the bitch boy of the club. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But, hey, if the club splits up, maybe he'll get a chance to redeem himself. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, man. Draft's only gotten started. Oh, uh, he was so good in New Japan. Oh, uh, but my question now is, since Finn Balor's been drafted to Raw, when are we going to see him? I mean, that's so cool. Which leaves, also, by the way, guys, only five NXT picks left. Yeah, we're down one. Yeah, Finn Balor, man, no wonder. Oh, Enzo and Cass are coming out, too. That's weird. Probably even in the odds up for Cena. Yeah, they're going to just kind of chill at ringside, I guess. Glad they cleared up uh, that miscue between Enzo and Cena within 24 hours. You know, we always talk about uh, the angry Mark and how he makes all these awesome prognostications and he's got an amazing, almost completely spotless record when it comes to breaking news stories and stuff. He said on last night's Under the Mat Radio, Enzo might be a world champion before Big Cass. Whoa, that's huge, though. Yeah. That's... He did that's... specifically say that they would both be world champions in their careers, but he even went out as far as to say... That Enzo is probably going to be a champion before Enzo, before Big Cass. I mean, if he would go to SmackDown, I'd actually see it far more likely there, to be honest. So we're doing shtick here. Enzo and Cass doing their thing. Yeah, just going through, getting the crowd nice and warmed up here. Yeah, I really hope they keep up this format of you do a match and then you get several draft picks. Because I could be into a show like that. I think it would be even cooler if we got, like, entrances and then draft picks and then a commercial and then draft picks and then a match. You know what I mean? Like, just sprinkle yeah. draft picks in every time you have some dead air to fill. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, obviously, that's not going to happen because we don't even see Shane and Stephanie present at their podiums. But, I mean, yeah, I just hope they keep the momentum up and we get a, a good, good stock of draft picks here. Speaking of Enzo and Cass, I expect them to be drafted in the top ten as well. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. The question is, though, because of the rules, are they going to be taken as a tag team? Or I think is... so, yeah. I think Shane's going to take them as a tag team. Because if Stephanie would want Enzo or Cash, she'd probably just draft Cash by himself and leave Enzo by the wayside. So I think Shane's going to take them both with one of his next few picks. Right. Here we go. Cena versus Gallows. Yeah, we'll see. Here we go. Cena Shoulder Gallows. block from Gallows showing that power and the immediate too sweet me pose. I love it. Gallows uh, is so yeah, good. Yeah, he's too sweet in AJ. <laughs> oh my god, Cena's actually looking like he's worn down. Cena's selling for Gallows the same way he sold for Kevin Owens in their first match. Yeah. Everything just looks dev devastating. Yeah, oh, man. And then we go to a commercial. Beautiful. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, I mean, the match really just got underway, so no problem there. All right, guys. Well, since we're at a commercial, I'm going to stop recording here. We will be back on the other side of this commercial, and I'm going to post these all up as separate videos, so it's going to be like a dozen videos tonight. Have fun.